Hello and happy Fridays. Hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to Fridays with Brandon and today this is Fluke Fridays episode number 70 and we're going to go over how do you check a fuse in your Fluke multimeter without um, opening up the back and getting the fuse out. I don't think I've done this video before and I had a coworker ask the question about a couple of these and I think this is something that a lot of you guys might not know how to do or not realize that you can do without opening the back which can save a lot of time. So I don't have time to do much editing this week so you're just getting it on this on the phone. I'm going to turn around and we're going to go this way. Okay so if I can do this without dropping it there we go. So the question is how can we know that the fuse is good in these meters. And you'll notice there's no fuse on the voltage side because we're gonna hook up in parallel for voltage, but in uh, the current side, we have to hook up in series. We have to actually become part of the circuit. So we are fused to protect both you and the meter. So you see this is fused for 10 amps here. And then some of these other ones have two fuses in them. One at a 10 amp fuse and one for 400 milliamps. So, Let's start with one that's going to be easier to do, a 11X series. And I'm not sure. I think maybe the 179 series is going to be the same way. But what you're going to find is how can we measure uh, the continuity through this without uh, opening up the back and just doing continuity across the fuse? Well, if we take our red test lead, plug it into the uh, resistance thing, and then we take the other side. When we push it in here, we should, in theory, there we go, we get some resistance. And it should level off for us. Whoops, I'm not holding it very steady, am I? There we go, 0.1 ohms. That's what we want. Now, another way you could do that with this one is you could put the black test lead over here and you could pull them together and get your resistance, okay? Again, same scenario. And this is how most people would want to do it because it's just easier and you don't have to hold it down in there. But when you don't, like this one doesn't give you any notification. It doesn't have the brains in it to tell you that this is in the wrong uh, port if you're wanting to measure resistance. You should only ever have the black lead in over here, or actually you're going to put the red lead in over here normally, and the black in the common, but you should only have a lead plug in over here only if you're measuring current or amps. So in any of these other modes, it's we're going to say that's not good because there's safety concerns. I mean, not a safety concern with the fluke because you got it fused, but um, you're going to trip a fuse and nobody wants to trip a fuse if you don't have to. So let me show you what happens if I go to resistance and I plug a lead into here. It starts telling me lead, 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 lead. And it's kind of annoying. But could we do that with an 87.5? And the answer is, I think the answer is yes. Let's look. See how we do get a resistance when it's blinking back and forth? But it's not the one we're necessarily looking for. So what you should do, and what you can do, is if we take this lead and we don't touch it to the bottom part, but actually the top half, if I can do this, show it to you at the same time, you can see you get your resistance. So we know we got a good fuse there and it's not beeping lead at us. Same thing over here. Again, you want to touch to the top half of that, not the bottom, okay? So we can get our resistance without setting that lead off. Now, if I hold it to the bottom part, See, it starts freaking out on me. So that's how you can do that, even with a smart meter that's telling you you're not in the right setting. Okay, same thing with this one. Same thing with the 28.2 or the 87.5 Max. Okay, so this... Oh, give me a second. Right there, beautiful. Sometimes you got to play around with it for a second, but you can get it. If you go to the top half, you don't hit part that it doesn't like. 
Now, same thing with the 287 and 289. Plug into the red resistance on this side. We see our resistance, beautiful. And it doesn't freak out on us. So, if you're ever curious about how you can measure and see if you have a good lead or, or a good um, fuse or not, even if you've got one that s starts blinking on you, because if I were to put this in here, it is only going to tell me lead connection. And it will give me no reading at all. Just does nothing. So if we want to get around that, you just take your lead and kind of angle it up, kind of like this. Let me show it from side angle, kind of like that. And you can get your resistance because you're angled up, but you're not touching the bottom. So that's how you do it um, and can measure and make sure that your, your uh, fuses are not open or not blown while it's still in the meter without having to take this whole thing apart in the back to get down to your fuses and just check, con check continuity across them. I hope this is a helpful tip and that it is useful for all of you guys out there using fluke meters. Let me know if you have any questions or anything else. Again, if you've watched more than three videos, go ahead and hit subscribe and like it if you like it. Take care. Bye.